Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. Today I'll be painting an apple. And um, what I really like about painting apples is that while we are doing um, a single subject, there are a lot of colors that are involved or that are, you know, that are, um, what do you call this, uh, composing the whole look of the subject. So it applies also to some other paintings like still life paintings and maybe other fruit paintings, but I really like apples and I don't know, I just like apples. So I'll be linking in the description box below some other related painting tutorials that I did in the past so that you can choose from among them, including this one. So the colors that I'll be mentioning for this tutorial will be listed in the description box below. You can refer to them much easier if you find that my talking is so fast, but I'll be mentioning the colors as well. So we have here titanium white, cadmium red, permanent magenta, violet, and black. I'll be using a little bit of yellow later, cadmium yellow, but that will be for the details because, you know, um, a lot of the surface of an apple is color red. Actually, it's not really red. It's more of a magenta color. And it's not absolutely red. It cannot be super red. It doesn't look like a plastic, um, plastic object. So let me sketch first the subject. And we will be doing some light play as well. My favorite. So for the sketch, I'll be using gray. So I'll be using a small brush. A small square brush. Okay, I'm going to get... This is a square brush. <laughs> is this a square brush? I don't know. Well, I find it square and, you know, it has a lot of edges. The four edge, I mean, the, the corners, or it's flat and all that. I really don't speak technical when it comes to my paintings. All right, so I'm going to get my black. I'm going to get my white. This is just for the sketch. Okay, sorry, dried acrylics. So I'm just going to get my black. So it's just gray. This will also serve as the, um, what they call this, the underpainting. Okay, so I'm going to sketch now the subject and we'll be uh, sketching right here. Again, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm freehanding everything. So um, if I find some things that need some correction, I'm just going to do it as I go. But you don't have to worry too much at this stage of the painting because um, we're just sketching it. Don't worry. So I'm using a square canvas panel. I mean, sorry, wooden, um, wooden sheet. So um, just get yourselves um, a square material to paint on. It doesn't have to be a wooden sheet, just like mine, just like the material that I'm painting on. Just have yourselves um, some square, what they call it, square material to paint on, meaning all sides are equal. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue using the gray color to underpaint the apple. Okay, I'll be using darker green. You know, in the past, I really don't underpaint. And I don't see any problem with not underpainting it, but I feel like underpainting it makes the painting more solid when it comes to color. You may choose not to underpaint it. You can simply fast forward the video and maybe proceed to the main colors. But um, for those who would like to learn more about how to do the underpainting, I think this portion of the painting is really good. Uh, I chose gray because uh, gray and red, they look absolutely good together. I'm just going to make a little bit of adjustment right here. Just color everything with gray. Okay. 
And I'm just going to soften the shape. Alright. So this will be the shape of the apple. But again, the underpainting is gray. Alright. Just like that. Now let's go to... Since I'm using wood, you know, the colors kind of... Um, sink the colors sink to sink into the the pores of my can my wooden sheet all right just like that okay i'm gonna wash my brush out and i'm gonna go and proceed to doing the first detailed part so for that, I'll be using my red. Sorry, I'll be using my magenta color. I'll be using my magenta. I'll be adding a little bit of violet to that. Okay. Okay, I'll be adding a little bit of white just to make the color more opaque. Okay, maybe this. And I'm gonna use it right away on the uh let's take out this on the topmost portion of the apple we're still doing the underpainting but we want to layer it you know already with some reddish color since i'm wooding uh, since i'm using a uh, wooden sheet um my canvas or my material feels more um like the paints just stick to the canvas right away compared to when I'm using an ordinary canvas. Okay. All right, just like that. I'm just going to use this color right here. And if you see some colors that are um, outside the sketch line, it's all right. We can simply clean that later. For now, let's just um, do the main portion. Okay, I'm going to use the remaining magenta right here. Okay, but we won't be painting the whole apple with the magenta color simply because we will be doing some light play later. And we don't want everything to be red because if everything is red, then it will look flat. It will look like it's not dimensional and yeah, it's just a... Uh, flat object and we're not that's not the um the goal here okay i'm just using the remaining color on my um paintbrush i'm not really grabbing new or fresh paint but we want to make sure that this magenta color appears in the whole in the wholeness of the painting because we're painting, again, a single object, and we want everything to be one, okay? We don't want any colors that separates any part of the subject from its own. Okay, again, we're just trying to use the remaining colors, but if there's no more color, you can simply dab onto your magenta a little bit of, a little bit of that color just to make sure that that color appears in the whole canvas. All right, 
Okay, just like that. And now I want to grab, okay, I want to grab my red. I'm going to get my red. I'll be adding a little bit of violet to that because remember, we don't want to use pure everything, like pure red, pure uh, violet. We want to mix it with something because we're painting nature. We're not really painting nature, but it's a natural object. I'm gonna dab it on right here, the red color, where we also painted some magenta color. So we're just gonna paint over it. We're actually layering it. The purpose of layering it, the difference between painting over something and layering over something is the intention, okay? The intention of painting over something is to cover or to eliminate the previous painting. But the purpose of layering is to add more, um, sometimes texture and sometimes, um, what do you call this, depth, okay? So for this purpose, we're doing this to add more depth, to give the apple more um, realistic colors. Okay, I'll be getting some of that red right here as well but again we want to make sure that we're not doing it all over the subject okay just like that the sketch lines will definitely be removed later for now let's just you know have it there I'm so tempted to just use my hands. Okay, I'm gonna dab onto my black. Okay, I did not wash my brush, but I'm gonna wet it. And I'm gonna apply some black colors. Remember that we will be doing some light play and this dark color is of purpose. It's not because it's black, but because we want to emphasize where the light is coming from and that is not coming from the left side or not coming from the from the what they call this from the front all right just like that i'll be adding a little bit of white to make it gray and I'll be using this color, maybe more white. Let's make it lighter. And by not washing my brush, I create or I retain the presence of the colors in our palette. The red, the black, white. So everything is there without washing our brush. And it just makes the painting whole and one. Does that make sense? I hope it does, but uh, yeah, that's the goal. Even if we're using a lot of colors, we're trying to make it one. Okay, I'll be using again more gray. Okay, I'll be dabbing onto my white a little bit just to make the flow much uh, smoother. And of course, I'm using my fingers. My advice is for you to, especially for beginners, to watch this first before proceeding. Um, that's how I learned in the past when I was just, you know, starting my painting um, journey. I would just watch first, maybe multiple times, twice. Yeah, it's up to you. And when I'm already comfortable with the idea of creating it, 
I do it. Okay, but I make sure, or I made sure that um, not only was I um, following instructions, but also knowing the reason behind the choice of colors. Why is it like this? Why was it like that? Something like that. You know, the reason behind the choice of colors. When you understand it, you will learn, you will learn more as you go. I'm going to get my gray again. Okay. I'm going to apply some gray color right here. This will be the shine effect. Okay, I'm gonna allow this first to dry. Okay, and then I'm gonna go and highlight the top. As I told you, some areas will be cleaned later. And um, again, I'm working near the house heater, so my paints really dry pretty quickly. Okay, and then I'm gonna make some more gray color. Right here. And this time we wanna remove the sketch line already. I wanna make it more gray. Really gray because um, this is where the light hits the apple the most. Okay. Again, we want to soften it. some water down colors All right. okay I'm gonna change my brush now because I feel like this brush is less uh, manageable I mean yeah, it's, it's just uh, not that manageable so I'm gonna switch brush I'm gonna go for a shorter shorter handle handle brush I'm gonna go for red okay I'm gonna go for red and I'm just gonna make some red markings right on the top of the apple when I say red markings I'm not gonna use my brush really I'm just gonna use some watered down reds and like make some uh, markings around this area water down and then use a lot of water
something right here. We want the red color to be present. Okay, I'm gonna dab onto my black. I'm gonna water it down, okay? And I'm gonna use this black color to create some, you know, in the same manner that we did the red color, I'm gonna create some bark markings. on the apple very don't overdo this just make sure that you're doing that the color is there okay then I'm trying to do some light light play okay and of course we're going to apply a little bit of that black color down here We're starting to create some depth. I'm gonna get some gray, but I'll be adding more black, like dark gray color. Okay, I think that's too dark. I'm just gonna adjust that. Okay, now I'm going to switch brush. Okay, I'm going to go for a cleaner brush or you can simply just wash your brush out. I'm going to get my white. And I really want to highlight the... the right side. Just use white. And I'm just going to brush okay, right along this area. Okay, you 
can you hear some I don't know racing cars <laughs> use white I'm dabbing it I'm dabbing my paintbrush on a towel just to remove the excess on um, water so it's like dry brushing but it's not completely dry like it's not dry brushing in its strict sense um, I'm just the paintbrush is quite damp we still need some water to be present we still need it to be a little bit wet so that we can spread the paint but we don't want it to be super wet that it's dripping wet you know that Okay, I'm going to apply some white paint right here. Okay, and also right here. Just gonna use my fingers just to blend it a bit. And oops. And of course, again, we want to make sure that the right side is whiter or brighter. Not whiter, but um, brighter. It should be more suggestive of light. Some red colors. I'm gonna get my violet and I want the violet color to be present on the left side as well okay. like that All right. I'm gonna use a cleaner brush again I want to get my white because my white is already contaminated with a lot of um, colors. I'm going to dab on again to this area. And just to make the look more bright, the edges of the apple. Be more bright. Try to make some blending.
-hmm. like that and again I want to make okay I'm dirtying it okay my canvas my wooden um my wooden sheet it's not really white so I think I will paint it white so bear with me on this one I'm just gonna quickly paint it with white because um, the yellow background just doesn't make sense to me okay so I'm just gonna quickly paint it with white And by painting it white, well, if your canvas is already white, you can simply pass forward this step. Um, you don't have to do this step. My wooden sheet is not white. That's why um, I really don't like the yellow background. Just doesn't go well with um, the light play that I'm doing. okay and i'm just gonna paint this side with white and the way i'm doing the white color is very rough and i just want the white color to be there it doesn't have to be perfect i just want the background white so that the, the subject stands out better much better <laughs> I like it okay but since I'm wooding I'm wooding why do I keep saying wooding but since I'm using a wooden um a wooden sheet it's absorbent so I have to layer some more white but I can do that later now I can go back to the apple I'm gonna get a little bit of um, orangey color I forgot to mention that we'll be using a little bit of orange but since I don't have the exact orange color, I'm just gonna get my yellow, my yellow color, my cadmium yellow, and mix it with the existing red that I have here to get some orange. So I'm just gonna dab onto my yellow and orange, I mean yellow and red. Maybe more red, so it's more of a orangey, it's more of a reddish orange. I'm just gonna use this color on top and I'm using the water down technique, just stabbing on. I don't want to um, smudge the paint. I'm just using some watered down orange and I'm tapping. Okay. You want to make sure that the color is present. right here okay I'm gonna get more red right. okay, also here Okay, now I'm going to use this orangey color, but I'll be adding white to that. Okay, I'll be using a pointy brush, 
because we'll be doing some dots. So I'll be using a pointy brush and I'll be doing some small dots. Actually, this brush is not really good, but I'm just going to make the most of it. I'm just going to uh, use whatever it is that I have right now. Because of overuse, my paintbrush is not really perfect when it comes to shape. I'm just going to apply some dots here and there just to suggest the markings that we see. Oops. Yeah, I really don't like this brush. <laughs> it's giving me that imperfect dot. Okay, I'm gonna suggest some dots right here. Okay, I'm gonna go look for another pointy brush. I'm gonna go look for another pointy brush because this brush is not really doing its job. All right, so instead of using um, paintbrush I'm just gonna use a pencil okay I know it's weird but I'm gonna use the tip of the pencil to to do the dotting <laughs> see it's better <laughs> to do this job it's... okay good now I'll be using the same pencil I'll be using my white I'll be dotting on some areas just to highlight it. On the right side. Okay, remember I'm not using the pencil. I'm just using the pencil as the tool, the tip of the pencil, okay? I'm not using pencil. This is not a, um, what do you call this? Mixed media. <laughs> this is not mixed media. All right, okay. Okay, again, I'm just going to use my white to just clean the edges. Just cleaning the edges and also it adds more light play. Okay. Now I'm gonna lighten this gray part. I'm gonna lighten it. Right. 
just like that just lighten it okay I'm gonna allow this to dry for a while this area before I go into more details my paint is soup my I mean my wooden sheet the material that I'm painting on is super absorbent I'm telling you um, I have to relayer a lot of times but I prefer a super absorbent canvas or material over non-absorbent or um, non-absorbent ones or uh weak in terms of absorption okay i'm gonna gray this area oh, no no not i'm gonna get i'm gonna use this white to just whiten or brighten even more the left side okay you can actually paint over the sketch line now because again, we really don't need that, the sketch lines. Mm -hmm. Like that. Okay. And I hope this area is already dry. I'm just gonna run my brush on this area. You know brightening it really really giving it the light play that I want making this area brighter but we want to make sure that everything is well blended okay okay I'm gonna do a little bit of shadowing later for now let's just go and do some more highlighting again white I'm just dabbing on some pure white right here to suggest um, reflection. Okay, and using some red without washing my brush, I'm just gonna scrub some pinky color. Oops, okay. Sometimes I destroy my own painting. Mm -hmm, because the area is not that um, dry. <laughs> That's why. I'm scrubbing on some white by accident, but I kind of like it as well. some more white right here mm -hmm. right like that okay now let's do some um, like the that one the the little tree trunk <laughs> let's go for some green i forgot so i'm just gonna mix my blue and yellow because i already have the yellow 
So I'm just going to use my green. I'll be adding a little bit of red just to tone down the brownness of that color. And I'll be drawing the tiny handle. What do you call that? It's not a handle. It's the, it's the part of the stem that connects the apple to the tree. <laughs> what a description. Uh, Okay, just like that. I'm going to get a little bit of orange just to make it more brownie. Okay. Okay, I'm going to wash my brush out. Okay, now I'm going to get my yellow. I'm going to start creating some details. Okay, and then I'm going to wait for that to dry. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow colors on the apple. Okay, just like that. Very subtle. Just make sure that there is some sort there is some yellowness, okay? Maybe a little bit of that yellow color. This tiny bit. You don't want to overdo that. Tiny bit. I'm gonna get more white. Okay, it's not pure white. I'm gonna get more white. I'm just gonna brighten, brighten. I can't speak today. Okay, some more details. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use some water down white. I'm using water down white. And pure white right here. Okay, just like that. Again, we want to make sure that the right side is brighter compared to the left side. Okay, now I'm going to do some little bit of shadowing. So I'm going to get my black and my white, of course, to get some gray color. I'll be adding a little bit of violet. Okay, let's try this to create some shadowing. Okay, I'm going to use that color right here and just right here okay all right just like that okay i'm gonna wash my brush out we want to make sure that it's just soft, okay? But I'm waiting for it to dry. So I'm gonna get a cleaner brush. I'm gonna dab onto my white. Okay, 
And again, I want to make sure, or we want to make sure, that the shadow is just a shadow. It's not weird looking dark um, uh, marking on the painting. So I'm going to lighten it by adding a little bit of white over that area that we just did. We want it to be there, but we don't want it to be like in your face there. Just like that, very subtle. Mm -hmm. I already like this one. Okay. It's gonna brighten even more this side. You know, it's just 4 o'clock, but it's just dark already <laughs> because um, winter is coming and here in the U.S. it has changed already. We're an hour late, so the sun is down by this time. Okay, okay I'm just going to brighten again. And also this. I'm gonna highlight even more the right side. Dry brushing some white. Okay, now let's finish the 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 handle. I'm gonna get my white. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to that white just to make sure that we're consistent. Maybe a little bit of orange right here. Okay. And also a little bit of brownie colors. So I'm going to get my black and just darken the left side. Okay, just like that. Again, I'm going to get my black, water down. Okay, and then I'm just going to like that. and some red colors I'm just spreading some red colors here and there Again, the purpose is to make sure the apple is red even if we're doing a lot of highlights here we want to make sure that the red is the more the most dominant color for this apple right. and some dark reds Dark reds. Okay. Some more dots. Mm 
-hmm. Okay, and we want to get again our black. Wow, I like this one. I like this one. Okay. Adding some more. Okay. I'm going to sign this now. Oh, no, not yet. Sorry, I forgot a little bit of detailing. On this, we want to add a little bit of brownness. And some white. I like this one and I'm just gonna get my clean brush it's a huge brush relatively huge I'm just gonna get my red I'm gonna glaze it with some red so I'm gonna use my red I'm gonna apply a lot of water to it and I'm gonna spread some red colors but I'll be using my hands Okay, again, we want this apple to look like it's a whole, it's one whole apple. We did a lot of highlighting and a lot of light play. So we just want to make sure that when you look at it, it's still a red apple. Let me check. Okay, I like this one. I'm going to sign this now. I'm going to use my black right here. Okay. We're done, guys. We're done. <laughs> Yay. I hope you enjoyed that one and I hope you paint along with me. Again, I'll be linking in the description box below some painting tutorials that are related to this or maybe some fruit painting tutorials. I hope you enjoyed this one and see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Love you.